Hey y'all, it's Air Max Day. So absolutely have to do something special for today. Um, and these are really special, really special to me. I actually bought these off eBay in my size. They're all worn and beat up. But these, these are called the um, Negro Leagues Untold Truth Collection. And these are like 15 years old. They're, they're, they're way back. But if you follow my account on Instagram or have heard any of the stories I'd like to tell about my baseball that I collect and um, and how I love certain vintage, Satchel Page is always a big theme in my baseball collecting life. I read a book on Satchel Page when I was 11 years old, and it sent me down a path of collecting the whole 1953 top set, and it was awesome. I, it took me 20 years to do it. But these actually have, and I'll take pictures of these to send out, Leroy Satchel Page on the tongue, and they've got them actually on the other side, the, the number two, uh, 25, which is on there. And inside, it's got the pinstripes from his old Kansas City Monarchs days. And then you can see the insignia here. But these are pretty special Air Maxes uh, for me on Air Max Day. And I just had to share them with y'all because I had only seen them online and then find an old beat up pair, but that doesn't bother me because the whole key to me about collecting shoes and collecting cards is, is finding something with meaning, meaning for you and having a story behind it. And yes, there are a lot of stories in a room like this, but these Satchel Page ones are awesome. And I've actually been to their, their museum in Kansas City uh, and about four or five times. And if you haven't ever been to the Negro Leagues Hall of Fame in Kansas City, you should absolutely go. It's amazing. Josh Gibson and Satchel Page and uh, Buck O'Neill, all of that stuff. But to me, finding a pair of kicks that matched and intersected at the right points in my life makes it all that much more fun. So enjoy Air Max Day, and I hope you find some of these out in your travels. Thank you.